friends welcome back to this playlist so i hope this type of mcqs are very productive to brush up your c programming language so let's start this is our first mcq friends see the code and try to solve first these are the mcqs options So I am using online JDB compiler. So let's see what is the output of this code. Okay, you can see this is not an error. Output is a zero with warning. Okay, see here, this is the error is our variable. This is assigned with one value. Okay, in the switch case, error is a one so switch inside one so it will go to directly case one okay in that case one there is a printf function is there so compiler understand this is the pro code so here outside switch case there is a no pro code any value assigned inside switch case there is a pro code variable declaration so this is the declaration of our pro code variable so compiler understands there is a no value is there so compiler give warning with garbage value so this is the zero is a garbage value whatever uh, inside the stack memory is there this pro code get and showing to the output okay but i know you have one doubt here in your mind some confusion are there see here this is the declaration inside switch case so do you have question right Ki why this pro code is not generate error because this line never going to be execute so this is the declaration part so why compiler uh, doesn't give any error this pro code so nowadays smart compilers are using so compiler only knows yes this pro code used in our file anywhere so this is a not a error only understand this pro code declared but inside this switch case there is assigned with uh, thousand value but compiler uh, doesn't know this thousand value assigned because this line never going to be executed so here one point also you need you need to note add inside switch case only you should write cases and default case only okay so if you see here if i give this line comment this is the declaration part so compiler definitely showing error this pro code undeclared okay so you now i hope you got it my point so this is the switch case inside this stuff so this is the our output garbage value okay next question so friends see the code and try to solve these are the options let's see what is the output of this code 488 eight. okay here float variable is there double variable is there and here size of operator we used okay so what is the mean of size of it will give uh, size of this variable so f is a float so float data type size is 4 byte so it will generate 4 byte size size of d d is our double variable double data type size in c 8 byte so it will give 8 and here 0.7 is there only inside our c programming language wherever you see the only floating point value without any f okay so it will take by default double data type okay so here 0.7 size of operator take double data type so size is size of double data type is 8 byte so it will give 8 byte okay but here you have also one another doubt why here used percentage ld i hope you notice that one also if i put here only d so what happen it will generate error or what see see 
it will not generate error this is give output but warning is there because is the size of operator support only long unsigned integer data type okay size of operator return value in percentage ld form okay so wherever you use the size of operator make sure you need to use percentage ld long unsigned integer data type it will return okay so this is the very important point here okay now if i put here f okay so see what is the output 484 okay i told you earlier right if you don't put here any f after that floating point value then it will take by default double data type okay but here if you put f then compiler understand yes this is the float data type float data type size is 4 byte okay so it will output 484 got it so for this questions output is 488 next questions friends try to solve this question it's very easy question these are the options let's see what is the output of this code run see output is 21474836 as it is this i print here this is our integer i our variable print same as it and uh, here i plus plus so i increment by one so here put minus 21474836 so why this put minus integer data type size is you can see minus 4g to 4g okay so size integer data type size is this one minus 4g to 4g so here this value print okay after plus plus it will go to here again this cycle repeat okay this is the maximum value of our integer data type after you increment this value then it will go to here so this is the chain of our integer data type so cycling is there okay so this will print i again plus plus then what is the output here only 47 okay so now that is the cycling behind that this integer data type is there okay so our output is this one so thank you so much friends for watching this video and i hope this type of mcqs are very beneficial to you improve your c code in the dev and if you have any doubt then please guys feel free to ask me in the comment section also so bye bye see you in the next video with new c mcqs